Hello my friend, let's talk about my egg freezing journey a year later and where we are today, shall we? Okay, so first things first, after I froze my eggs in July of 2021, I actually bought myself a doggy, adopted a doggy. So this is Rosie, Rosie's asleep, Rosie say hi. There she is. <laughs> And so Rosie opened up a lot of doors for me, um, came to a lot of realizations. But before we dive into that, if you've seen this video here from last year right here, um, I really wanted to talk to you guys about a year later where I am and my thoughts on freezing your eggs, if you're considering it, what you can do, um, and the truths and some things that people really don't talk about. Now, if you have any questions throughout this entire video and you didn't talk about it here or you just want to talk to me, feel free to head over to Instagram at jennifer.marilla and I am more than happy to answer all of your questions. I am always down to talk about these things. I think this is important. I think as women, we don't talk about it enough. So let me share with you some insight to a year later and what I wish somebody would have told me before I even started this journey. So in July of 2021, I froze my eggs. And that whole process, I'm gonna walk you guys through it quickly, but basically what happened is about two weeks of hormones, um, low estrogen hormones. So basically what happened is um, before the egg retrieval process, there are several weeks where you're doing abdominal injections and you're taking some hormone medications um, to basically take your follicles, which is like the little sack, think of the follicles as the sack where it holds the eggs, to get enlarged because the surgery is an invasive surgery where they go and it's like a mini vacuum and they suck the eggs out and then once they get as many eggs as they possibly can they then test those eggs and whichever eggs are mature are the ones they put in the freezer and that's where you freeze your eggs now i am 33 years old i did this at 32. Um, my biggest recommendation is that you do it young like you if you are 28 and you have the financial means to be able to do something like this go for it because the truth is that the less amount of egg you have and the less quality eggs you have okay and that's just the truth like it is what it is also genetics plays a big part in this okay yeah so I wish somebody would have told me that a lot earlier if you were in the financial means I would say 29 or younger 25 to 29 is a sweet spot if you can financially do it because obviously it's a pricey investment it's about fifteen thousand um, dollars if you can do it at a young age do it because the quality of the eggs will be better and the amount of eggs that you can retrieve will be a lot better as well. Um, I didn't retrieve a lot of eggs. I retrieved about five eggs. And that kind of is what it is, right? It's a risk I'm willing to gamble with because I don't want to do the procedure again. And so not because it was terrible. It was the aftermath of it that was not pleasant for me. So here's the truth. You definitely gain weight. You your body behaves as if you're in the first trimester of pregnancy. And even though you psychologically know you're not pregnant, your body still behaves, right? So your breasts hurt, you get like a little pouch. Like I would stand in the mirror on the side, like it looked like I was pregnant. Um, you have aches, um, you're very sensitive, you're extremely hormonal. Um, th I think that was the biggest thing for me as someone who definitely struggles with hormones. And like, I had been off birth control a year prior to this and then before that I was on birth control for seven years. I was in a very low dosage of hormones. The reason I was on such a low dosage of hormones is because hormones for me like really just kind of messed me up. Like they totally messed with my brain. And so this didn't do it to that extent because I am now more conscious and aware of that. So I understood that like those feelings of emotions weren't 100% mine, that they were coming from the medication. But nonetheless, they do affect your body. Another big thing that happens for me, you guys, is I had back acne. So I have never, thank God, had any type of bad acne before. And I actually had really bad acne that lasted me for six months. And so basically after July of 2021, I actually took a huge detox, which was like such a blessing um, in my body because I actually stopped drinking. I didn't drink for about seven months. Um, I cut out meat. I started eating some. I started eating a lot healthier, so I lost a ton of weight, which was really good. And I really cleaned up my system because I had gained a ton of weight. I had all this back acne, um, and I just didn't feel good. Like no matter what I ate, I could have like a piece of lettuce, and my stomach would get bloated, and that didn't feel good to me. So essentially, what I ended up doing um, is doing a full detox, and I did that for six months. Again, these are things that people don't talk about. I think it's also good to like say is that not every body is the same so what might happen to me might not happen to you but something else might be different or you may not have any side effects at all which is amazing right I will say though is that we don't talk about it as enough 
in our society as women, especially in our 20s, because we are so wired to find a spouse, get married and have babies. And like literally it is in every single subliminal message that we don't think about the latter. And I think that if you are watching this and you are in your mid 20s and you are super career focused or even in your early 20s and you know what you want, my advice to you is to freeze your eggs sooner rather than later because the truth is it's just gonna be so much better for you it really is that whole process is gonna be so much better for you anyways i don't regret it for one bit um i'm so glad that i did and then from a very personal psychological level i realized i began to question you know being a mother and is this something i truly wanted and ultimately i know i do um but i was really missing that piece in my life because as my therapist said in our 30s especially at that age we're genetically wired to already like have a family um, and obviously society doesn't help with that right and there's so much pressure I truly believe and I can digress on that for hours but um, psychologically we're just meant to have that nurture relationship and care for something and I really didn't have anything so that's when I went ahead and I got my my dog Rosie and I adopted Rosie in Puerto Rico and I got Rosie over like four months uh, no five months she was a five months and we've lived together we've been together for almost a year now by the time you guys watch this video it'll be 11 months before i got her um and she is the best thing i have and i say all this all the time is that rosie i not only saved rosie because she came from the streets of puerto rico but she also saved me and i love her to penis look how cute she is you guys let me get her it's rosie rosie say hi to youtube rosie say hi to youtube you see how cute she is, you guys? <laughs> She's about 40 pounds and she is a mix. I know somebody's gonna ask me. She is a rescue, so she is a mix lab and terrier. Um, but she's such a good girl so just psychologically and emotionally i really began to question my nurturing relationship and what i wanted for myself i knew that i wanted to be a mom but i didn't realize how much that was affecting me and how much i really wanted to take care of something so that's kind of why i got a dog it's the best reason to get a dog i think um so yeah i think that that would be my biggest suggestion is that if you are in your early 20s and you know what you want or even in your mid 20s and you know what you want um, and you want to focus on your career first, which is totally okay. My recommendation, and you know that eventually you want a family, my recommendation is that you freeze your eggs. Um, if you're in your 30s and you're watching this, like, it's still not too late. I have friends who have done this at 40s, in their 40s, and they've had great success as well. Um, it definitely does take a toll on the body, so just keep that in mind, is that you want to give yourself that grace because you are doing something so different and so rapidly. Like, I think it's so beautiful that we're at a place in our, in this day and age, that society has like we can do this like science has evolved so much that this is such a beautiful thing that we can do but i don't think it's taken advantage of in the right sense as often as i want there to be basically what i'm saying is that i wish we spoke about this in our 20s versus forcing us to be in relationships and not letting us figure each other out or figure out what we want for ourselves and all the things anyways i digress but again this was a vlog style video i hope you guys enjoyed this i hope this was really helpful um if you guys have any questions if you're watching this and you're thinking about freezing your eggs but you're not really sure um, about the process and you have tons of questions you want some recommendations on the foot clinics that i used feel free to hit me up on instagram my instagram channel is jennifer.marilla if you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up if you want more of these leave me in the comments below ask me all the questions there too because then i'll create a video on that um but until next time my friends you are epic you are wonderful and i will see you guys soon thank you for being here bye